hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial we are going to go ahead and actually write the functionality to uh to add a product to our database so we have that we have done the retrieve functionality first the uh function the function that is left is to update the data from our database sorry to to add the uh, products to our database sorry so what to do this is actually very simple and just open up my palette here and then i'm going to open uh create a new file i'm going to call it uh, update product products.js so now that we have that I'm, I'm still going to import react uh from uh react great and then also uh so said and then i also need to import a couple of things i also need to import uh uh use state because we're going to create a state to, to deal with uh, our form because we're going to create a form and then the form is going to be used by the user to input the data of the product in which uh, they want to add and then we'll take that and send it back to the back end using uh, uh, Using the uh, a request right so import So I'm also going to we're also going to be making a form. So I'm going to import this uh, 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 React bootstrap components to make the to make the To make the form. Okay, so react this actually uh, React bootstrap that's all we need to do so uh, in here what I'm still going to do I'm going to come down here and then I'm going to create a const add a product and then I'm going to uh, call uh, it's gonna be an arrow function and then I'm still going to return just return that great so what we need to do first is we need to create we need to create a state now a state is going to be what is going to be dealing with our form first so let's go ahead and actually create the form so i have got a code snippet right here i'm just going to bring it here okay so i'm just going to scroll down here and then you can see this is the form that we need to create so i'm just going to copy all of this it's very lengthy to type out and then uh, it's actually very simple if you are as long as you understand html and the basics of bootstrap you this form would give you an issue okay so i'm just going to paste that form in there so now that i have that form paste in there you can see this the form it has the card the body and then the other content of the form so uh what we need to do is to create uh an event handler in case uh, uh, in case the the content of the form changes right so if you're familiar with the boot basics of bootstrap you should be uh you should be familiar with this so on change we are going to call the function that will update our our form okay so in this tool as i told you i, has, I have an assumption that you're already familiar with the basics of react so that's why i'm not going in depth about these concepts okay so if you are not very familiar with react maybe we can make a tutorial on react but uh yeah maybe that's possible possibility for the future so we're going to have a product info you're going to create a state right which is going to uh a, a state which is going to manage uh, our form so this is going to be a product info and this is going to be a uh, uh, use state that you have just imported and in here we're going to set a state so you're going to set a state and the state is going to have a product name right a state is going to have a product name for now it's just going to be an empty an empty uh list so an, an empty string and then each word is going to have quantity quantity uh quantity in stock and this is going to be an empty string as well each product is going to have a quantity quantity this quantity uh sold and this is just going to be uh, an empty list as well an empty string as well and then you're going to have unit uh price this is going to be this is going to be an empty string as well and then you're going to have the revenue or uh, each product is going to have its own revenue because you want to pass that through the form it's going to be an empty list as well and then we are going to have the supplier and then the supplier is going to be an empty list as well so great so now that we have that yeah we are good to go so we have the the context there and then we have everything that we need so great so now what we need to do right now is just to create uh, a f uh, an event handler that is going to handle our event for us so whenever you, you add a, a new product or something like that we need an event handler to handle those changes so it's actually very simple to do so all we need to do right now is just uh it's just we need to we need to get the f a function that to do that for us so we can create a const here it's going to call is we're going to call it update uh form and then the update form is going to be uh taking a, an event an event and then you're going to be returning a function that is going to do a set 
product info and then the sell product info takes in a uh, uh, takes in uh, takes in the product the product info which are going to spread it in here so the product info is actually this right over here right so it's going to store the data of this state and you're just going to spread it in here using the spread operator and then you're going to get e dot uh, dot target so we're going to get the event dot target dot uh, name and then you're going to also get the it's going to be uh, this is going to be a list again e dot target even dot target dot uh, value so make sure I type it in the right place so this is actually value so great so this is going to deal uh, with handling the updates for us so whenever our, our form changes right whenever our form changes this function will be called and it's going to update the state of our form right with this information and then if you come here we're going to say that the value of each of these is going to be the product dot quantity sold so whenever you go to our website and you start it for the first time all of this is an empty string so our form here will have the value of this form which deals with the product name right it has a value of product.info.product name which is this field right here right so for at first it's going to be an empty string so all of it will be empty on loading the page but whenever we type in a character whenever this uh, uh, on change right it changes this function will be called and what it's going to do is going to update our state it's going to update this individual value so our form will be or the, the uh, as, as the user types in it will be updated live on our form okay this is just the basic react com uh, dealing with form uh, concept so i'm really not going to go into depth explaining this so now that we have that we are going to write a function to deal with the post request for us so uh we're going to deal with the post request and send the data to the to the front end to the back end rather so great so i'm going to go into uh, my code snippet and i'm going to copy that copy up uh, copy the the function that deals with uh making the post request and i'll explain it to you so it's a bit lengthy to type out and this is just very simple so you shouldn't waste much time on that so i'm going to paste it in here so what we're simply going to do is whenever we click our form right so or uh, on submit whenever the form is submitted you're going to call this function called post data and it's going to come up here right it's going to call uh post data is going to call uh wait first i made a mistake here so uh it's actually let me try to find it here so this is going to be okay this is going to be a uh, post data let me just check it from here if i'm not making any errors okay so on submit you're calling post data and post data is this function right here so i didn't copy all of that properly so i'm going to grow uh copy that again and then back to my uh here and then i'm going to do undo that and then i'm going to paste it again properly so great so now that we have that there so on on us uh, on submit whenever we submit our form by clicking this submit button right here this function will be called and what this function does is simply gets uh makes uh makes a, uh, a post request so we're going to make a post request because you're posting something to the server right we're going to make a post request and then you're going to allow all these methods and then the data that you're going to post is going to be this so this is the body of the of our request and it has the product name which is going to be the product info you're getting the name and then it has a quantity sold product info quantity the price and then the revenue so if i take you back to my back in here and then i show you the part where we are making uh posting a request right so let's see where we can get that so uh add product let's see if we can find that for add product so this one so if i do try and then you can see we need to we need to do all of this okay so it's going to pass all that data in there and then uh we are going to pass in the name the quantity sold the unit price and then the revenue and the quantity sold also quantity in stock also now we need to pass in the id right so the id is what is going to be passed in here we need to also pass in that id so we're going to pass in the id and the id is going to be of that that supplier okay great so the id of the supplier is what we passed in here because on the form i'm going to provide a path where you can pass it the id of the supplier which is going to be an integer right a one a two or a three so we're going to do a uh, uh, local host product first slash and then the id of the supplier that's how we define that route to be right so if i make a request right now uh, I'm going to get an error so let's just uh, type in here maybe one and let's try to make that request so you can see the 404 it does not exist let's try two I think the ID of that user doesn't exist so now you can see we got back that back so you can see uh, the, this is the route right localhost at put 8000 product for slash 
two and two is the id of that supplier which which we are, will supply that product so we are going to pass in the id of the supplier in our form and then your form is going to get that and send and add it to the request right here so product uh local host at for uh, at eight uh, put eight thousand for slash product for slash and then the uh, the id of the user which is which the id of the supplier who supply that product and then we're going to make that request with the the name of the product the quantity supply the quantity sold the unit price and then you're going to make that rip uh, make that risk uh, request and then you're going to get back a response you're going to await this process and you're going to get back a response here so that's the response that you're going to get back and you're going to convert the response to json if it's a uh, 200 if, it's, if status is okay, equals to okay right because we usually uh, for our api we usually we set status to be okay to make sure that to indicate that everything went fine so if the status is okay you're going to alert make an alert and tell the user that the product has been added else you're going to say product fail to add and then after updating we're going to set back the form fields to be an empty list so that's all we're going to be doing for this part so great so that's all we need to do for that uh, to add the products okay so it's just it's very simple but a bit lengthy to type out and i don't want to waste or uh, watch you guys watch me type all these out just actually very simple as long as you understand the concept the code is on github you can find the code and then you can work with it right there so now that we have that we need to add this to our routes okay so i'm going to go to my routes and i'm going to get it from uh my applications okay so we need to go back to our app uh, app.js for the file and then in there we need to actually now add that in there okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to come here and then uh just before the the just before the the closing of this tag right just because before the closing of the div tag which is this one right here i'm going to actually add that route to to add products okay so i'm going to come here and then i'm going to do a uh, route route and then i'm going to say exactly so exactly means that we want it, it to match the the part that you're exact to exactly match match the path that you're going to provide in here and i'm going to call it add uh product and then i'm going to specify the component and then the component is going to be uh add product and then we need to actually import this so add sorry make sure i type that route so add product so i'm going to uh actually import that add product here so we need to come in and then it's going to say from uh sorry import add product from this is actually from component so uh component and then for slash add products great so i think we called it add products so let's see if I, okay i didn't even export export it so i'm going to export uh default this is going to be uh, add products okay so i'm going to come here and i'm going to call it add products so this is actually an s so add products and then uh, down here you also say add pro products great so you can see now we have that there so now let's save this let's go back to the front end make sure that you start your development server so we got an uh, an error so uh, which fills outside of the directory relative import of source so let me just try to refresh this okay so we have an error there you are able to import this this okay uh where is on this is online uh this is specify the line but it's somewhere here okay let me see uh okay the, i think the default the automatic import is what's giving us a problem so let me just remove that out and then uh let me just refresh this so now we have that done and then you can see if i now go to add product it should bring out to this route to this route it should bring us to this route and then in here we can add the different uh, components now you can see that uh, this table still exists whenever i make that uh, uh, whenever I, I call that so we can fix that so the way to fix that is uh I think we can fix it in the next tutorial and then we can fix uh, how that why that is happening so we'll fix that in the next tutorial but for now we can leave it there so add product is simply going to add this product uh go to this part and then the component is add uh, that component which brings uh which returns this component exactly here okay so now let's try it if the functionality works so i'm going to say oranges or just some anything 20 quantity sold uh let's say 10 and then the unit price is 200 the revenue for now is zero the supply with an id of two and then we can make that request and it failed to add the product so let's see why it failed okay let's click okay so this oranges uh this uh, 
quantity in stock quantity sold is 10 200 for the unit price the revenue is zero the supplier with an id of uh, let's check if you get the supply with an id of two yeah that's supply with an id of two so now let's read the error to see why it failed the first time uh, unprocessable entity so we're having an unprocessable entity right here it turns oranges okay so it's returning oranges but you can see it's returning a list we don't we don't want a list okay uh it's returning a list rather than uh just the object itself so let's see where we are making that error so it's returning an array rather than the the components rather than the the, the string itself so if you're turning an array you can see it's returning an array rather than uh, a text itself so what we can do is that you can use the we can get this the, the element out of this array but that shouldn't be the case so let's see why it's actually returning an array so let me just compare with the code snippet that i have to make sure i didn't make an error so this is where i made the error i actually added in this into uh, a list instead of just a normal uh text like this so save that and then try this out again so i'm going to pass in here oranges uh quantity so you can say 200 quantity sold you can say 10 the unit price you can say 200 the revenue for now is say zero the supplier with an id of uh an id of two and then we can make that request and then you can see now product has been added so i'm going to like uh, say that and then i'm going to refresh this now we can see we have added the, the oranges here and then you can see everything is as it should so the quantity sold does not get displayed okay so i made an error here so let's try to fix that it's uh, probably within our product row so let me find product row so this is actually quantity quantity sold is this right here so let's go back to our products table and then let's try to find quantity uh the uh, here right here so this is quantity quantity sold so product dot quantity sold so quantity here i made an error so quantity sold okay so let me just go back the front end you can see now we have all those quantities right there so you can see we have sold the oranges uh quantity sold quantity stock is 200 uh unit price is that much and then the unit price quantity in stock quantity sold is this much unit price is that one so this time this is 2000 and you can see that being updated successfully so now we can see also have four products in stock so great so now that part is working fine and we're able to add new products to our to our to our back end so in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and actually run write the functionality to delete different products so guys thanks for watching uh see you in the next tutorial keep safe if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please con kindly consider subscribing it supports me and motivates me to keep making these videos thank you guys see you in the next one